Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be making my dog's favorite dog biscuits. Now, there are only three ingredients, very, very simple, so let me show you. All you need is one cup of oat flour, and all you have to do is put some oats in a little blender like this, grind them up, oat flour, perfect. Then after that, you are just going to need a third of a cup of pumpkin. Pumpkin is really, really good for dogs, helps with their coats, helps with their digestion, everything else. So just a third of a cup of pumpkin. Now this is just pumpkin. It's not pumpkin pie filling. It's just pumpkin. You don't want to give the dogs all those preservatives and all the rest of that. So one third of a cup of that. And then... A quarter of a cup of peanut butter, natural peanut butter, not one you buy from the store, you know, with all the rest of those preservatives in it, just natural peanut butter. So you're just going to mix this all together and make it into a dough. So what you're going to do now is just make this into a dough. So just try to mix it up. It's a little bit difficult, but it will come together in the end. See that it's starting, kind of starting to form a dough. Let's see what? So you just have to get everything incorporated in here. And that way you can cut it any way you want to. Now I've seen people, you know, with those little dog biscuit cookie cutters, you know, stuff like that. They're, they're, they're really, really, really cute, but I don't believe that the dogs that are here care what shape that these are in, uh, as long as they get some. So, I don't think it matters. It's almost there. And I'm spilling it all over my countertop. <laughs> That's okay. That happens when you're trying to make a big dough ball. Well, that's working. So now what we're going to do is I ground up a little bit more of my oat flour, which is what we were going to put down on the countertop. You don't have to do this. You can use any type of flour, but when you grind up a little bit more than what you need to, why not use it to make your ball? we get all of that stuff out of there. So now we are just going to incorporate all of this and make a little dough ball. Now the thing with this is it doesn't have to rise since there's no leavening agent in here. That's about it. That's what you need. Little dough ball. So now you are going to spread it out. I've seen people use a roller, but hands work just fine. Hands are your best tool out there for anything that you want to do. So I'm just going to use my hands to go ahead and press this out. Just like that, keeps grabbing a hold. If you need to, you can put a little bit more flour on the top of it, that way your hands don't get stuck in it. But I think that that is a good 
height. So now you'll want to get a pizza cutter or a knife or something like that. I just generally cut them into one by one inch squares. So I'm definitely going to use my pizza cutter. And I'm just going to cut these into little squares. Easy, easy. Like I said, a knife will work. Um, pizza cutter, easier for me. And then I am actually going to be putting these into my air fryer. Uh, don't really want to heat up the oven right now. I know it's only like 75 degrees outside, but why would I heat up the oven for a little bit like this? So you're just going to place them on here just like this. You're just going to put them in your air fryer for 12 minutes. That's it. And then you will have dog treats. And they're good for them. No preservatives, nothing else like that. My dogs absolutely, absolutely love these. These are also not going to spread out. They're going to cook exactly like this. So you could go ahead and place them one right next to each other on your tray because they are going to stay the same shape, which is good. dogs are barking right now. Boy, anytime they actually hear a dog bark, um, they will just start barking. I'm not sure if the dogs are saying hi. They're barking for a reason. But there's two dogs that live right down the street from us, and whenever they hear them bark, yeah, they'll bark too. Okay. So that's how they're going to look when they go into my air fryer. Like I said, just put them on air fryer for 12 minutes. So right now, while we're waiting for those to cook, let's go and clean my front porch. All right, so here is my front porch. And dog one, I don't know where the other dog is, but as you can see, there is hair all over the carpet out here. So I'm going to clean this area up and uh, vacuum it. Definitely needs that. All right.
that's how they look when they come out of the oven, pans hot, so. Um, so now all you have to do is put them, let them cool a little bit. So generally what I do is I will just stick them on one of these cooling racks, let them cool a little bit, and then put them away. I'll either put them, um, we have this milk bone um, treat thing, dog treat thing that my daughter had gotten for her dogs. And ever since I have been making these for them, I've just been using that container. But you can put it, I actually gave some to my mom for her dog. And you can put them in Tupperware dishes. It doesn't really matter. Um, trust me, they're not going to stay that long. Um, and honestly, this is so much cheaper than buying treats, dog biscuits, whatever you get from a store. I mean, it's simple, it's easy, the dogs love them, no preservatives, nothing. So, just remember that next time you're going to go out and buy dog treats for your dogs. I mean, I still have not gone through my can of pumpkin yet. I might have one more serving out of the can, and the can was under a dollar. Peanut butter was a little bit more, but I generally get the peanut butter for myself too, um, because I'm vegetarian. Peanut butter is a really good source of protein. Um, and the oats, the oats are incredibly cheap too. So this little thing that I'm making right now for the dogs may have cost 30 cents. 30 cents for all of this. And that's it. So just let them cool. Just let them cool down for a little bit. Put them in a container. And there you go. It's that simple. And that affordable. 